Okay, in this video we're going to do the 4.4 notes. So we're going to be proving triangles are congruent by SSS. And SSS stands for side, side, side. Okay, so the side, side, side congruence postulate states that if three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So note that there's no discussion of angles here. So what they're saying to us now is that if we can show that the three sides are equal, that is sufficient to show that the two triangles are congruent to one another. So let's look at this first example. It says, decide whether the congruent statement is true. Explain your reasoning. Okay, so I'm looking at this and I see I have three sides equal to the other three sides. Let's just see if they have it going in the right direction. So they have D, F, G. So they went up the two, down the three. D, F, G. So then I have to go up the two, H, J, and down the K. Yes. So this is true. Okay, so the re my reasoning is that they went in the same pattern, and that's why that congruent statement is true. Okay, so now they're giving us actual lengths. So what I'm seeing is that this is equal to this. Okay, so I know right away this is not going to be true. How come? I have to have three sides equal, and I don't have three sides equal. I have two sides equal, so no, this cannot be said to be true. Okay, the next one, I do have three sides equal, so now let's see if their reasoning is correct. Okay, so they went QPT up the two, down the three, and then RST up the two and down the three. So this is yes. So those two work. Okay, let's go over to the next page. So here you have the homework. So I'm going to do the first two with you, and then you're going to finish this for homework. See if you can use side, side, side to prove these triangles congruent. Okay, so this is the first thing they tell us. Then if you can, add letters to the vertices and write a congruent statement. If not, say not enough information. Okay, so I'm going to do the first two with you. You're going to do the rest. So I see that I have sides labeled with two hash marks and side with three hash marks. And I see that I have a common side, which I'm just going to label with one hash mark just so I can refer to it. So I do indeed have uh, two congruent triangles because that common side has to be the same length each time they use it. Okay, so now write our congruency statement. So I'm going to go up the three and then down the common side. So down this side. So that's going to be A, B, D. Put your little triangle symbol. Get your congruency statement. Get your next little triangle symbol. And now I went up the three, down the two, or down the common. So down the three, up the common is how I have to go this way. So that's going to be C, D, B, and I'm going to put this down here and erase it where I had it there. All right, so that's my congruency statement. Now that's for overlapping triangles. So let's do, so this is yes. Okay, so I can say that I definitely proved it. So it's yes, and this was side, side, side. So let's do the next one. So I see I have three equal triangles. So, because I have a one, a one, a two, a two, a three, a three. Okay, so let's label it. Now be very careful because your orientation is not going to be the same. So let me get a mark and a pen. Okay, so I'm going to go up the two, down the three. So triangle A, B, C, up the two, down the three, F, D, E, F, D, E, 
my little triangle symbol, and then establish congruency. Okay, so you're going to do the same, the same exact thing for the remaining problems, and your homework is going to be to turn in the notes as well as this, these problems all completed.